Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 12, Hebrews chapter 8 verse 13, and Luke chapter 3 verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for your holiness, your truth, your righteousness. Thank you for letting your righteousness cover us. Lord God, lead us and guide us into all truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, Nehemiah chapter 7, verse 12, the sons of Elam, 1254. All right, and we know that this is during the time of Nehemiah at the completion of the gate, the accounting of the people. And um, here it's talking about the sons of Elam. Um, Elam actually means forever eternal tree. So Elon itself, um, I felt like Holy Spirit was showing me that this is representative of the people who are, whose names have been written in the Lamb's book of life, right? Those who are the wise bride. All right. And those who have received Christ as their Lord, right? And so um, the the number 1254 in the Strong's Greek means to hinder, to prevent, to prevent, to forbid, separation by shutting out, shutting off. All right. And so there you have the division of the unwise and the wise bride. All right. One who is being prevented from coming in. And and the thing that the Lord was showing me was that Elam um, later, if you continue to read in um, the book of Nehemiah, um, we know that Elam was a grandson of Noah um, who was protected right during the wrath. But here um, Elam um, it is one of the names of the families that was sealed, right? That was sealed um, on the covenant. Um, and so there was all these names written and those names were sealed. And so um, I felt like the thing the Holy Spirit was showing me was that these names represent those names that cannot be removed, um, that are written in the Lamb's book of life, that are, are people who have been separate, people who have been holy, people who have lived um, their lives for God, right? Those who have, who have received Jesus as their Savior and Lord, and their names have been written in the Lamb's book of life of life, right? And and not just received him as Lord and then done their own thing, right? Because that represents the shutting off and the cutting off, right? We, we're talking about the people who have received him as Lord, right? He has been their Lord. He, they, ha they have lived under his covenant and then their names are written on that sealed covenant. Elam was one of those names in Nehemiah chapter 10. All right. And so the the second verse that the Lord gave me was Hebrews chapter eight, verse 13. And speaking of a new covenant, he makes the first one obsolete. And what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. Now, we know that Paul here was speaking about um, not Paul. Um, they don't know who wrote Hebrews. They believe it might have been James, actually. So um, but they don't know for sure. It says in speaking of a new covenant so this is talking about um the new way right the new um um promises of God um the the new covenant that came through Christ Jesus um there was a great promise um for eternal life right um the the remission of sins the atonement of our sins um all of those things are part of the new covenant and many 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 more promises greater promises and it says he makes the first one obsolete and we know that during that time the um the sacrificial system was still going on not for much longer but it was still going on so meaning that he makes the first one obsolete the old covenant but then here it's 
places and what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. So they were talking about that old sacrificial system. And so um, the thing I felt like Holy Spirit was, was saying about this was that, you know, God is going to cause the old to vanish away right the old the old is going to become obsolete the all those sin debt that you had all of the all of the ugly things that have been done in the past um god is is wiping those he has wiped those things away he has atoned for all of our sin right and so when we receive that free gift our names are written we are sealed right we we can experience the salvation of God but when you reject that thing when you when you turn away from that thing you're going to be hindered you're going to be prevented you're going to be forbade you're going to be separated by shutting out and shutting off right so we need to let go of that old right that following of rules and not having relationship right Jesus fulfilled all the law and the Holy Spirit is going to help us to navigate um, the word of God and so we need to listen to Holy Spirit we need to not be afraid of the word of God we need to listen to um, the the urgings of having a personal relationship with God we don't want to be shut off we want to be with those who have made him Lord right and so the the third verse that the Lord gave me was Luke chapter three, verse six, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. This was one of the fulfillments of the prophecy of Isaiah. I want to say it was Isaiah and it is through John the Baptist, right? The one preparing the way for the Lord. And so he is saying that basically when the people see Christ, they are going to see the salvation of God. Did it mean that everyone would experience the salvation of God? No. It just said that all flesh shall see the salvation of God. So we have um, we have actually experienced the salvation of God and we will continue to experience the salvation of God as wise brides, as believers. But for those who have rejected him, who have not truly made him Lord over their lives, those who um, have have not chosen the new covenant um, and, and clung to all ways in in trying to be righteous rather than receive the righteous covering and the justification of Christ who have um who have not made him lord um they are going to be a part of that shutting out right that that preventing right does that mean that it will always be no some people will um the remnant um, of Israel, as well as those people who are a part of the 144,000, as well as those who will overcome by the cleansing of their garments, um, they are going to to be able to to have eternal life as well, right? They will be able to be let in and and not prevented in the end. But for those who um, go through tribulation, who continue to reject, um, they will be continued you to be prevented forbid separated shutting out right and so if um what the at the that those are the verses that the lord gave me um and um, the, he also was talking to me about just the lifestyle of of a person who believes a person who has made him lord and you know um that is in actually the previous um scripture the previous verse uh, that the lord gave me and you can go back and listen to that amen all right you guys let's pray thank you father god for your word thank you for this cross that you have borne for us we love you we praise you we ask you to forgive us for all of our sins lord jesus Help us to live lives that are separate, lives that are holy, lives that are are for you, Lord Jesus. Help us to not be prevented. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Have a blessed day and take care.